Hey guys, Thunder E here again, and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I have got two laptops with me, and these are the Surface Laptop 4 laptops. Now, right here on my right hand side, that is the AMD version, and over here on the left, in silver, is the Intel version. Now, we're gonna be comparing both of them in terms of gaming. That's what we're gonna be focusing on in this video. Now, if you haven't watched this channel before or you're catching us for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification icon, and let's go ahead and enjoy this video. So the Surface Laptop 4 is the latest Surface Laptop from Microsoft. And as you can see, it keeps its traditional styling. Uh, in terms of variants, as I mentioned, you can get either an AMD version or an Intel version. And they come either 13 or 15 inches. What you see here, right here in my hands is the 15 inch Surface laptop, um, which is, is cool, it's nice, it's got a really nice weight to it, about 3.5 pounds or so. Also is a touch screen, so I'm navigating both of them with the touch screen, which is great. And you've got this nice keyboard layout and an awesome trackpad, something that Microsoft has done pretty well. I think in terms of design uh, interface, it kind of looks and feels the same, it's familiar, which is not a bad thing, uh, but I think maybe it's time for that refresh on the Surface Laptop. Now, in terms of ports, you do have uh, a USB Type-C port on the left-hand side, as well as also a USB-A port, a larger one. And on the right-hand side, there is that proprietary charging dock, which is nice if you are in part of the Surface family line, and it's cool to see that it's still there, but. I think it's time to kind of move away from that, especially if they, at least if they release the, the next Surface line, kind of move away into just purely USB-C's. Now you can charge this with USB-C, so not to worry, you can still charge that if you don't have your Surface uh, laptop charger. So now let's delve into specs. What do we have here with both devices? So both of them are, um, of course, 15 inches in terms of specs. The AMD version is running the Ryzen uh, 7 4980U with the uh, RX graphics, while the Intel version is running the Intel Core i7 uh, 1185G7 with, of course, uh, Iris XC graphics. So you've got that built in there. Both of them are 16 gigabytes of RAM. Both of them have 512 gigabytes of storage. So. Do you game with this kind of devices? Nah, it's not something you do on, you know, on a regular basis, but if you decide to game, what would you be gaming on? So I decided to look at two games specifically, and those were Fortnite and Overwatch, because I felt those two would run quite well on these systems. Now, we're gonna start off with uh, Fortnite on the uh, AMD version of the Surface Laptop 4, where we're able to run the game at 60 frames per second. Resolution was 1620 by 1080, or again, 1080p resolution there on the device, um, as well as the settings were at medium. Now, if you do the auto set, it will give you high, but medium was the best settings for it. And the AMD version ran really well. It ran close to 60 frames per second, dipped a little bit down, maybe to like 55, but pretty much was close to 60 all the way through. It was good to see that, some really great performance. Now we're moving over here to the Intel version, and on the Intel version, we also ran at the same settings, which were of course 1620 by 1080, uh, and also set at medium, and it ran also at close to 60 frames per second. It did, it did dip a little bit lower sometimes in comparison, but nothing too much to say it's out of the contrary there. And I would say both of them run Fortnite pretty well. So if you think of playing Fortnite, not a problem. So the next game is Overwatch. Now this is a game I sorely am terrible at. I'm gonna put it out there. You're gonna see gameplay that will insult you. You'll be pissed, you'll be angry. Daniel was crying while I was playing. But anyway, for <laughs> Overwatch, we played Overwatch at uh, 1920 by 1080 uh, at medium settings on the AMD version. And we we're getting close to about 55 frames per second. It was really solid. Gameplay looked good. It graphically looked really nice on the system and the RX graphics did a really good job. So I had no issues with that whatsoever. And we move over to the Intel version here and sorry guys, my gameplay did not get any better. I mean, I kind of lasted a little longer, but I was aiming at the wrong people like that. Daniel was disgusted. That's pretty much what it is. But settings were still the same, medium 1920 by 1080. And we also ran close to about 55 frames a second. So again, 
performance was pretty similar with both and I didn't see any variation here. Now, when it comes to temperatures after gaming, the MD version, while measuring temperatures at the back of the device was about 106, 107. Uh, the front of the device uh, it initially stayed at 100, but also it had cooled off a little bit. So it's closer to what we saw at the back. So I'll say it's about 106 degrees for the AMD version. The Intel version after gaming, uh, it was 106, 107 degrees both front and back. And quite interesting, the, interestingly, while playing uh, while gaming on both devices, temperatures were also around the same, which is pretty good. I mean, to me, it kind of says that Microsoft has built a device using different chipsets, able to get the same performance and also able to get uh, similar temperatures, which means it's a almost a balanced product across the board. So that's a good thing. Now, uh, what about, of course, battery life? That's really important. Now, while you're gaming, you gotta be plugged in, honestly, because you're not gonna get any kind of good performance off that. But I did run a battery test and this is very unscientific. Now, Microsoft says for um, the, if I, if I can actually take a look here, let's see what the uh, battery life hours are. For the Ryzen 7, up to 17.5 hours of battery life. For the Core i7, up to 16.5 hours of battery life. There are different ways they measure this, but I did my own little battery test, very simple. I put both devices, the displays at 50% brightness, I put the volume at 50% and I ran a 10 hour uh, video of basically just a fireplace and I let it go. And as you can see with the timer there, you can see going back and forth, it looked like the AMD version was draining battery a little faster. And from that, the AMD basically uh, died off at around eight hours and 26 minutes, uh, which is quite interesting. Nothing close to that 17 hours while the uh, the Intel version died in around eight hours and roughly 46, 47 minutes. So uh, in terms of battery life with my own very unprofessional test, I was able to, to get those numbers and the Intel version lasted a little bit longer and also drained less than the AMD version. Now, the other thing to note is that uh, while I have used them separately, I've gotten at least over 10 hours of battery life just on my daily routine, surfing the web, um, just kind of using it on a day to day without gaming, I can get more than 10 hours, about 10 to 11 hours on each device. But that battery drain test showed which actually had a longer battery life for me. I think overall though, if you're looking to game, uh, both devices give you a very solid experience. And I think you're going to enjoy that. The other thing you can do gaming wise is jump on Xbox Game Pass on your, of course, your Microsoft Surface laptop and start gaming through the web. Of course, that doesn't drain any battery life, but it's pretty easy. And if you're using the Edge browser, you can pin it as an app. And that's a really fun experience. So that's something else you can do. If you don't want to go ahead and make this run hot, you can literally just play on Game Pass, play Forza Horizon like me, uh, almost win a race or lose, and you don't have to drain your battery life. All right, guys. There it is. That is gaming on the Surface Laptop for the Intel version and the AMD version. Seriously, both are the same and you can't go wrong with either one. Uh, so if you have any questions, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.